If your deck could use a little bit of love, we've got you covered. We've called in an expert. Mike Fratelloni from Fratelloni's Hardware and Garden is here with some products and some tips for taking care of your deck. Mike, Hi. thanks for joining good us. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, good to see you again. Let's start with the fact that there are decks made with all kinds of different yeah. things now, right? Um, yeah. the, the, the world has changed. Yeah, wood, you got composite, you get glass decks. Those are super cool. Oh, I don't know who would have that, but that it would, would be, be cool. cool. Not in Minnesota, right? maybe. Which could. That yeah. would be cool. Um, but they all use the same stuff, kind of, to clean Oh, up. they do? Yeah, okay. In, in a sense. Okay, so if you're going out to your deck right now, which I think many people are, you're looking at everything, and it just has all the grime on it mm -hmm. from uh, winter, right? Sure. And all of the wind that came in, the dust and the pollen. I would imagine the first thing you have to do before you do anything with your deck is clean it. Yes, it, absolutely. So one of the things that you kind of either clean your deck or you restore your deck. And if you just want to clean it, these first couple products work really well. Sometimes your deck's in the shade and it will get that mildew and mold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this mold armor and, and um, this wet and forget, you spray on the deck, let it sit or, or scruff it with a brush a little bit, and it miraculously kills all of that mold and mildew. And then you just use your standard hose to wash it off. And that can make your deck look kind of brand new, depending if, if the wood is a good good base to start with, right? And it's as simple as hooking it to your hose, walking out there, spraying it. Literally, the one is wet and forget, right? Yeah, you, yeah. The yeah. second part is forget, right? That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> and and just it can really, really clean your deck. It's not restoring your deck. It's just kind of giving Cleaning it a nice it. up up clean, I guess. And this works for any kind of decking, wood decking, composite decking. Everything, side UK, of the house, yeah. everything, right? Okay. In fact, one of the products that wet and forget, you know when you get that black stuff on your roof? Yeah. Uh -huh. That, you can also use it on that, and that really works well. It will take that oh, really? black okay. uh, mold and mildew off your roof. Okay, and then what's this stuff? That's wet and forget. That's oh, the that's one. the wet yeah, and forget. Yeah, got it, got both of them are kind of the same stuff, yep. but there's just, uh, they have different pictures on the label. Sure. So of course they're different because you know they do <laughs> different pictured stuff. But both yeah. great products and that's just kind of the bare minimum. That's if you just want to get your deck cleaned. Yep. Right? That's what I would suggest. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. What are these products? Next for? level is if you have a wood deck and let's say you have a cedar deck and at one point in time you put on your cedar deck and it looked like cedar. Right? And it was really it was quite gorgeous. pretty and it was very protected mm -hmm. and you didn't need to do anything to it. Well, a couple years in, it turns that deep gray. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is come back with Cabot products like this and work this in with a deep brush. You know, it's, it's concentrated. Work it in. Your deck will look different overnight. It's a ton of work. But boy, it will restore your deck to that cedar look, and then you can protect it after that. It's really, really important that you do this, because unprotected cedar just starts to wear out. It takes years, but it starts to wear out. But if you do this and clean it and keep it fresh and bring back that natural cedar look, it really is more protectant than just letting it you know, fade away after 10 years. So this stuff you're putting on with, uh, are you actually like scrubbing you're it You're scrubbing it in, right? Board? You put it in okay. a bucket, put some water in the bucket and scrub it in. It's a lot okay. of work, right? Okay, yeah. And it smells a little bit and it's a lot of work and you, at the end of it you'll be tired and you want a beer and all that stuff. Yeah. But then your deck's going to look great. So it's kind of a trade-off. You right? mentioned cedar wood. Can you use this on like a, a pre-treated wood or a different kind of wood? Yeah, you can use it on, on other any? wood. But if you had like um, deck stain on there, yeah. you wouldn't necessarily do that because it could rip off the deck stain unless that's your goal, right? Okay. So mostly it's just for just straight cedar decks or just a wood deck, a green treated deck. You could use that and it will kind of bring it back to it. It's not necessarily green treated. It won't work as well if it was cedar. Sure. But then we have like a little product called wood bleach. That does the same thing that will bleach your wood back to the natural look if it's cedar. And the vast majority of people have cedar or green treated yeah. decks. So a lot of people do that in Minnesota. One thing that people make a huge mistake on is they get a power washer, right? Yeah. And I've seen people's decks where they went out and power washed their deck. Works really well, but they use a gas powered power washer and you can see the the lines lines in the I know. Deck. I mean, it can just ruin it. You've got to like sand those out of there. Yeah, there's like nothing you can do, yeah. or just live with them, right? right? Or paint over them. What I always suggest, and I brought in a steel electric power washer. Mm -hmm. It still sprays with about 1,800 psi. It's still very powerful. But if you look at this little tip, you might may or not be able to see this. It's adjustable, right? So it will fan out. So it will shoot like a fan or like a pin. And you want it to be a fan because that's how you get the softness onto the deck. And you, and you'll you'll see. Start in a spot of your deck. That no one's going to go to. Yeah. yeah, because it, or even on the bottom side of your deck, if you can yep. get to it, yep. then you can really test it out. And this is like super satisfying. I don't know if you ever watch those videos where people like wash a car with them. Yeah. It feels super good. You're going to get wet, you're going to get dirty, but when you get done, it looks really well. Can you use com this on composite decking? You absolutely can. That's a perfect thing for composite decking, right? Okay. You know, some of those, um, you know, milk carton, all, you know, the new milk carton decks, it's all plastic. Yeah. You just put this on hard and you go after yeah, it. Yeah, you don't that's have to worry harder. about it marring. The, exactly. Yeah. You would just go after it. All right, that, I like it. That's a the whole power washer thing, man. It, it's kind of fun. It, no, it's yeah. it's super well, fun. But when you make that, 
when you, you mess up and you put the marks in the wood, you're yeah. like, oh, I watch two things on TV. I yeah. watch this show yeah. and guys power washing cars. Dude, that's all I watch. When my husband gets the power washer <laughs> out, it's like everything in the yeah. neighborhood is power washed. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know it. it He's going to town it's, a, it's a very <laughs> fun thing, <laughs> right? It's a very fun thing. Yeah. When you have this all yeah. done, Talk right? About this day yeah, right. when you're when you're all done, you want to seal your wood, right? If you're not a composite deck, but if you have a wood deck, yep. you want to seal and protect it. And I brought in two different things here. One is a solid tone deck stain, and one is a tr semi-transparent. People make this mistake all the time. They put down and they paint their deck with a solid tone wood stain, which is a layer of paint on top of the deck. A semi-transparent works into the deck, mm -hmm. right? So you can still see the grains of the wood. Mm -hmm. So what happens in Minnesota is we put down a solid tone deck stain and then snow lays on it for six months and then water and it starts to peel it up. Yep. So if you do that, and we sell a lot of solid tone deck stain, the yeah. reason why is they're painting it over other solid tone deck stain, right? So if you do a solid tone deck stain, some point in time you'll have to sand that all off or power wash it all off. But if you use a semi-transparent, you can put it on and then just every other year, just put on another coat right over it just to give it a boost and a freshen up. You don't have to ever worry about the peeling. And that's a big difference. So again, really pay attention to whether it says solid tone or semi-transparent on your deck stain. Because if, if one did want to take the stuff up off if you put the solid on there yeah. um, and you're sick of it and you decide I'm done with this, then it's a whole big job of scraping, and but it's possible to do, it right? It is, like, sanding, scraping, yeah. and then your sanding pad hits the screws that were holding your mm. deck boards in and they rip. I mean, it, you have to really do a right. lot of work. Right. It, it's worth it, right? It's worth it, but it's a job, right? If you have a big deck, it's a really big job. Or you clean it up and then put more solid tone deck stain right, right over it again. Stick with what's there. And do it what's there, and then three yeah. years from now, do it again and again and right. again. Mike, do all of these things kind of work the same if you have, uh, like, cedar fencing? Absolutely. All yep. of these products yeah, They work, work just the exact same. Yep. Okay. It, it, almost everything we talked about would, would translate perfect to a cedar fence. Okay. Perfect. That's wonderful. Good question. Wow. Well, you know, I'm full of them. Mike, <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Good to see you, Mike. Fratelloni's Hardware and Garden Center has 22 locations across the state. We've posted a link to their website, minnesotalive.com.